Hello everyone, I'm Harry and welcome to my channel and today we're going to look at the Sima 63 preamp and overdrive pedal from Greer Amps. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate going and checking them out. So the Sima 63 is actually the first pedal from Greer's XFR series, which is a range of preamp slash overdrive pedals that actually use a real transformer inside. We have looked at the Royal Velvet, which was their second one. One before made a demo on a sound like and that was kind of capturing the classic vox ac30 type tones but today we're looking at the Sima 63 which actually aims to capture vintage brown face fender amp tones so like i said it's a vintage preamp based on the tone and feel of vintage brown face era amplifiers from fender the pedal simulates the entire preamp phase inverter power section and even the feel of the vintage 12 inch utah speakers that were found in these amps having the little transformer inside actually leads to the overall tone shape of the circuit when the gain is pushed hard the small steel core transformer will actually saturate just like a vintage brown face amp on the front of the pedals we have a couple of different controls we have an overall output volume a gain control and then three eq controls that are really powerful and kind of work together so we have bass and treble which is pretty self-explanatory than a presence control you can run the pedal off 9 volts, which will have more grit and texture, or even up to 18 volts, which will give higher headroom, stiffer response, and less overall grit. So being a drive pedal, we're going to check out a couple of different guitars so we can hear different tones for different pickups and different guitars. So for Strat tones, I'll be using my Matmul S Classic, which is one of my favorite vintage style Strats. For Tele tones, we'll be using my Matmul T Classic, which again is one of my favorite vintage style Telecasters. And then for some humbucker tones, we'll be using my 1959 Reissue ES-235 with Montley's low output PF humbucking pickup. The amp I'm using today is my Hampstead Art is 60 Plus RT, which is one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps. That's running into the Tone King Iron Man 2 Attenuator just to knock off a few dBs. And then the Celestian G12M 65 Creambat speaker is being recorded by a Lua MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. And there's a tiny little bit of reverb coming from the amp as well. So the Matmul S Classic straight into the amp sounds like this.
So there we have it. That was a look at the Simon 63 vintage preamp and drive pedal from Grey Ramps. Again, the first pedal from the XFR series that uses a real steel core transformer inside. And this one's aiming to capture those brown face era Fender vintage amp tones, capturing the preamp, the phase invert, the power section, and even the feel of the vintage 12 inch Utah speaker. Having that transformer inside is really cool for tone shaping and even saturates by itself when you're pushing the gain harder or if you're using something with higher output pickups. And of course, having the 9 to 18 volt operation for different textures and feel is really cool as well. In 9 volt, you'll get more grit and texture, and up to 18 volts, you'll give you more higher headroom, stiffer response, and less overall grit. What I found with Greer's XFR series is you've really got to treat them like an amp, which means running different guitars into them will give you completely different sounds, and even running drive pedals and certain modulation effects into the front of the pedal will really get the best times possible. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of the Sama 63 and if you go and pick one up for yourself. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to all the gear I use in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.